on June 21st, 1979, our son David was burned in a bathtub with hot water. I had just gone down to start the girls' bath water and gone back up to get their little nightgowns and David heard the bath water running and he was in a little bedroom next to the bathroom and he crawled into the bathroom and pulled himself up on the tub and tried to reach the water and toppled in. And the water was too hot and he was burnt. We rushed him to the hospital and he was in the hospital for six to seven weeks. For about four and a half of those weeks, David didn't do very well. In fact, many times we came to the hospital and the doctor would say, um, he's not going to make it through the night. And I think some of it I was kind of numb to because I just knew as a mother I had to be there and I needed to be with him. And so we just kept going forward. After about four and a half weeks, the girls were really worried about David. In fact, Stephanie, who had said that David had fallen in the bathtub, kind of was crying and thought he was had died because he wasn't there. And so we decided we should take the girls up to just see that David was there and he was up at the hospital. They came up and um, we took the little baby, little David out, and uh, he uh, saw the girls. We kind of sat down, the girls sat on the floor and I sat in a rocking chair holding David and he saw the girls and he just started to cry. In fact, he had never really cried real tears before, and tears just started coming down his little face. And um, we thought, oh my goodness, that the girls were upsetting David. That's what we kind of thought, because you know, they were kind of jumping around and wanted to hold his little hand. And so we thought that David, they, they were upsetting David, and so, so it, Paul decided he better take the girls home because we thought we were upsetting David so much. Well, you know, we stayed, and then Paul came and relieved me at night like uh, he always did. Did He stayed the nighttime, and I stayed all day. And the next morning when I came in, um, I went over to the crib, and David, we had a little pet dog, little, you know, stuffed dog, and I put the dog up by David, and... He started barking like a dog, like he did before he had been burned. He had never had too much reaction, but he started barking like a dog, and then he started smiling. The doctor came in, and he looked at David, and he said, he said, this little boy is going to make it. He said, uh, he said, what happened? And I told him what had happened, and he said, you know, that's amazing. He said, we have learned that. Sometimes even these little, the smallest children, when they see their family all together, somehow know inside that this is a family and that he wants to go home. And uh, it was about another 10 to 12 days and we took him home. And he is this wonderful young guy that you see today. And uh, it was a real blessing. Uh, it was a real testimony to me about the strength of a family and how families pull together and how families uh, help each other through difficult times.